This is a V-Tube Laser demo video for measuring a half-inch aluminum tube for automotive applications. The tube has typical end fittings for this type of air conditioner application. We'll show V-Tube Laser measuring around each of these fitting types. In this measuring application, we're given the master setup data in the form of a print from the customer. So we can start by entering that data into V-Tube as master data. According to the print, we know that the nominal diameter is a half inch. We also know that the diameter of the AN fitting is 0.6 inches. We know the diameter at the B end form at the end of the crimp fitting. The print also specifies that the endpoints are inside the tube using negative offsets from the end scans. Finally, the print specifies centerline XYZ coordinates to be entered into the master tube pane menu. In the measure setup menu, we enable the laser mode for both end scans and cylinder straight scans. In the scan rates menu, we separate the cylinder stripe scans by a distance of 20 thousandths or more, and the end scans with a timer type set to 0 milliseconds for very fast end scans. Switch to the measure process menu. Set the tube straight count in the tube measure section, then press measure tube. Take the arm and align the probe with end A. End A has a deformed short straight coming out of the back of the fitting. The fitting's cylindrical surfaces are more precise, so we'll scan them to measure the first straight. V-Tube can measure any diameter of any cylinder regardless of the nominal outer diameter. The end trim point is inside the end scan points because the offset for end A is negative 0.472 inches. Now we'll measure the rest of the tube. Since we entered a negative offset for end B, we can measure the reduced end and allow V-Tube to project by the negative offset to find the end point inside the stop bead of the crimp fitting. Press Finish and Apply Measure, then press Calculate New Measured Tube and Create Best Fit to generate the inspection data. Red cells in the inspection grid prove that this part needs correction. You can view the bender correction data in a V-Tube report. This concludes the V-Tube Laser demo video.